What's up guys, Maddie here. In today's video, I'm going to be mixing vocals from a song by my buddy Trip Carter. It's called Heavyweights. It's out on Spotify now. But this time we're going to use only Plugin Alliance plugins and just mix the vocals and see what we come up with. I think it's cool sometimes to take one plugin brand and do a mix just using those plugins. Uh, for one reason, it gives you, you know, some restrictions, which is sometimes good you learn new things by that and the other reason is just to show you that you don't need all these different plugins you can do it with just one brand or one subscription or whatever before we do get started please make sure to like and subscribe if you find this content helpful let's get into it All right, guys, before we do get started, I do have some stuff already set up just to make the video go a little quicker and just so I'm not searching for plugins while you guys are watching. And I always have my reverbs and delays set up before I mix anyway. So I'm going to run through that stuff just so you can see what I'm using and then we'll get into the actual mix. For this song, I have a, a wooden room, a slap, uh, a micro, which is just a micro pitch kind of doubler effect. And, and then a hall, which is actually a plate. It's called hall, but it's actually a plate. And for those, I'm using um, the BX room, and that's just the room setting. It's a wooden room. And then I've tweaked it a, tweaked it a bit to, to fit, you know, kind of way I like things sounding. This is a slap delay. All it is is basically a 16th note delay. Pretty straightforward. Next one is this micro pitch. It's I'm using the Unified Audio. I don't even know how to say this plugin. B-Y-O-M-E. Biome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all it is is really just a stereo image got the mix on crank and lastly is the hall which is actually the plate and i'm using this plate very large thin uh setting and i believe i might have switched up the eq no this is just actually how it came so it's a straight up so those are the effects i got set up ready to go i think it's always smart to have some effects at least ready so you can just grab them a lot of times we look using the same kind of sounds for general effects like rooms and, and a little bit of micro pitch and a little bit of slap so having those set up before you start mixing i think is always a good thing so you're not sitting there trying to set up a new effect now more creative stuff yeah maybe that works but but just you know your standard stuff is good to have already set up so let's take a listen to this i'm just going to play from the pre-chorus because that's I, I tend to find a part that has a lot of vocal in it and it's kind of the same levels as the other vocals because because what I usually do is mix a section and then I'll apply those effects to other spots and see if they work and tweak them as needed. But this is just the pre-chorus. It's it's where the vocal's pretty much straight going straight through. So I think it'll be a good spot. It's rough, I can barely hold myself up, daughter, and a dog. Fix my mental for a little bit in physical. It's a heavy head I carry no lie. Carry no lie. So sometimes I put my weight all on you. Okay, so the way it sounds right now, it's, the vocals don't sound very energetic. They're way lower than the music, and that makes sense. You know, I stripped this from the original mix. So um, what we want to do is, you know, push these vocals out and make them feel more forward in the mix. Give them some energy and some, some shine so that it is the star of the show. Right now, these vocals are not the star of the show, and they should be. So let's get started. The first plugin I'm going to use is the old school but new school. I always call it the BX3, but it's the BX Digital Version 3. Have you been using this since version two? Man, I think I've actually been using this since version one. But anyway, um, what we're gonna do is just use this to basically clean up some of the vocals. So I'm gonna solo the vocal right now and just get the cleaning up done. I like to do any of the polish with everything in it, but let's just clean this up and you know see what we can do. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up, you the end. Fix my mental for a little, getting physical. It's a heavy head, I carry no lie. I always do a low cut on vocals. I like to kind of go extreme and then pull it back and see how much I can get away with without changing the uh, sound of the vocal. I think right around 100's not bad. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now, I do feel like we still have a little bit of a muffle, muffle, bluff, muffle from this. Um, so let's bring this down. I'm gonna use a shelf. Now, this is a little strange. Um, I learned this from Jason Joshua, but I'm gonna use a little bit of a shelf and just bring it down here and pull the shelf up to like 800. Let's see what this sounds like and we'll adjust this to taste. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up. You're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little, getting physical. It's a heavy head, I carry no lie. 
So you can tell how that just cleaned the vocal up. And we're only just, it's just a slight shelf, but what it does is it just kind of rolls off all the muddy stuff and, 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 and comes up. It works really well usually. So there's that. That feels pretty good. Um, the next plug we're going to use is a little bit of a uh, crutch, if you will. And this thing's old. This is the Noveltech vocal enhancer. But what I found sometimes, if you use a lead vocal and then just dial it back to like here, it will actually really like pull the vocal together and make it sound nice. So let me play it with it and then without it. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up. You're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little getting physical. It's a heavy head I carry, no lie. So that helps clean it up a just a little bit more. I honestly don't know what the hell this plugin does, but it does give it a sound. And so what that's doing, it's focusing on the lower frequencies and just kind of cleaning it up a bit more. So let's bypass both of those on and off. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up. you the antidote. Fix my mental for a little getting physical. It's a heavy head I carry, no lie. You notice I cranked it up. If you crank it up too much, it just starts sounding a little too bright and tinny and thin. So just a little bit of the enhancement um, can go a long way with this plugin. So once I have things kind of cleaned up a bit, we'll probably come back to that V3. But once I have things like basically cleaned up, um, I like to add compression. So this purple is awesome for that. I'm a big fan of 1176s on vocals. So I'm gonna do a fast release. Uh, it already has a pretty slow attack slow for the 1176 four to one ratio is great and then let's just get the level we're going to look for like 3 db of gain reduction here gets rough and i can barely hold myself up you're the antidote fix my mental for a little getting physical it's a heavy head i carry no lie this purple adds so much like flavor and color to it so you really got to be careful not to add too much at least in my opinion um too much compression Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little getting physical. It's a heavy head I carry, no lie. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little getting physical. So that's helped a lot. That's helped push the mid range a little forward. It's compressing everything, obviously, and it's pulling the vocal together. It's starting to feel a lot more in our face now. Let's hear everything with and without the um, plugins. Gets rough and I can barely hold myself up. You're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little getting physical. So sounding good. Now I'm gonna bring in this next plugin, which is the Better Maker EQ. I love this thing for a few reasons. I'm a big fan of pool tech, so it has the pool tech boost I can give. Um, it will help give our vocals some shine. And then I still have a couple parametric EQs here if I need them to clean this vocal up a little more if I don't want to go back to using the V3. So what we're going to do at this point is bring our vocal into the music because um, I don't want to EQ anymore without, that, without the music playing. Um, and we're just going to play it and fit the level in and make sure our level is good with the music. Okay, so it sounds good. It's pulling together. I still have some like muffly, like wonky sound in this vocal that I don't like. So we're going to work on trying to get that out of that, either using the V3 or some of the uh, Better Maker. So let's check that out. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little bit in physical. It's a heavy head I carry, no lie. So it's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental for a little bit in physical. It's a heavy head I carry, no lie. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote Fix my mental for a little bit in physical It's a heavy head I carry, no lie It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote 
Makes my mental fall a little getting physical It's a heavy head I carry no lie It's rough and I can barely hold myself up Y'all the antidote Fix my mental fall a little getting physical It's a heavy head I It's rough and I can barely hold myself up Y'all the antidote Fix my mental fall a little getting physical it's a heavy head I carry no lie. Okay, so that's a lot better. EQing out a little bit of that. Let's see what we do. 279 and then boosting up a bunch of high end obviously always helps, but it did help clear it out. And now it feels like it's cutting through the mix quite a bit more. Um, let's play it a bit more. And what we're going to do next is bring in our de-esser. This is a really great de-esser plugin. One note just to note about this is turn the noise off. It's sometimes doesn't default now now i have it default but it was on the other day when i was using a mix so just make sure that's off um because it can get a bit noisy when you have like five or six of them going all right so we're gonna bring this on a lot of times with this thing now all you have to really do is just turn it on and it works pretty well it's rough and i can barely hold myself up your the antidote fix my mental fall a little getting physical it's a heavy head i carry no lie so sometimes I put my weight all on you. It's rough and I can. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up. You're the antidote. Fix my mental fall a little bit. You fit. Okay, so that feels really good. I feel like our vocals cutting through now. Let's start bringing in some of the effects and see how those sound with it. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up. You're the antidote. Okay, so obviously that wood room sounds like trash turned up, but if you turn these rooms on just lightly, it will give us a little more depth, but not a reverb sound. We're not looking for that with this room sound. We're looking for just a little bit of depth and width, kind of. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you the antidote. Fix my mental fall a little bit in physical. It's a heavy head, I carry no lie. Okay, so you notice when we brought it down, you can barely hear it, but then when you mute it, you definitely hear that it's gone. So that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm using a room. Uh, next is the slap, and this is the same, this and the micro, these are all the same principle. I want to hear it, but not hear it. So we'll turn it up here so you guys can hear what it's doing, and then we'll bring it down and mute it and turn it on and off. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up your head my mental fall a little bit in physical It's a heavy head I carry no lie It's rough and I can barely hold myself up your the antidote Fix my mental fall a little bit in physical It's a heavy head I carry no lie Okay, cool. So we're starting to get a good sound now. This is what we're looking for. It's just to, to bring some width and dimension to the vocal. Um, next, we're going to do this micro. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote Fix my mental fall a little bit in physical It's a heavy head And that one you can sometimes push a bit more That will really give us more width Now let's listen with and without these Now these are all just kind of giving dimension It's not supposed to be some reverb, you know, a delayed effect that we're hearing This is just all thickness, dimension, width it's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote Fix my mental fall a little bit in physical It's a heavy head, I carry no lie Now you can see my face, you can tell how much those vocal effects are doing That's a huge key to a lot of my mixes, is just giving a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this And it all adds up to what we heard Lastly, we're going to add just a little bit of plate to actually give that kind of reverby effect, you know, sound. Plates can be light sounding, and, and this is kind of a happy, you know, song, but we don't want, obviously, this isn't like a big reverby ballad or anything like that, but the plate will just give us a little bit of flavor to make it sound a little more expensive and, and cool. It's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you're the antidote. Fix my mental fall a little bit in physical. It's a heavy head, I carry no lie. And that's that. So let's listen from this verse and just see what, you know, how it's sounding from the verse to the pre to the chorus. Uh, 
When things get too hard for me and I can't be strong for me, tell me come through. So when you go to the verse now, it almost sounds like there's too much effect, right? And this is where, you know, I'll start doing things like this, automating effects or, or what I might do if I wasn't shooting a video and needed to be faster is I'd split these all out onto their own tracks and probably change these EQs and stuff. But just for, you know, the timing, let's turn off this hall during this pre and then uh, have it come in for the pre-chorus, which is this part. When things get too hard for me And I can't be strong for me Tell me, come through Come through, come through yeah. Just to renew Before I lose it Goddamn, so in the shit It's rough and I can barely Hold myself up, you the antidote Fix my mental for a little Getting physical It's that Before I lose it Goddamn, so in the shit it's rough and I can barely hold myself up, you the antidote Fix my mental for a little bit So you can hear in the transition, it lifts it up a little bit more It gets a little wider, there's some more dimension going on By turning on that plate when the pre-chorus comes And this is something I do a lot, and you can play with this Is, you know, maybe add another effect when the chorus comes in Like a slap delay or, or something different Just so each section is getting a little bit bigger and then when you come back to the verse, take it all down, verse two, take it all down again, and it, it, it brings the listener back to a different place. So a lot you can do with effects by just turning them on and off. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys using just Plugin Alliance plugins to mix vocals. If you like, you can pause the video when I open some of the plugins and copy them and try to use them at home. What plugins do you use most when you're mixing vocals using Plugin Alliance? Let me know in the comments below. If you need your song mixer mastered, hit me up at mixermastermysolar.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.